presenting an unambiguous picture. Payroll growth has decelerated to its lowest since January 2021. The unemployment rate has risen to its highest since November 2021 at 4.1%, and wage growth has cooled to 3.9%, the slowest since May 2021. These metrics are hard to ignore for Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell and his colleagues, especially as they suggest the U.S. job market may be reaching a critical inflection point. Combined with a slowdown in inflation, these labor market trends have investors betting on interest rate cuts in the near future. As Powell prepares for his semi-annual testimony before Congress, the characterization of the jobs picture will be crucial. This comes amid broader global economic developments, such as the UK Labour government's plans for private investment, climate challenges affecting China, and New Zealand's stance on interest rates. With inflation data and central bank rate decisions also on the horizon, the global economy stands at a pivotal moment. How will these economic indicators shape policy decisions and what will be the impact on the broader economic landscape? The U.S. economy is showing clear signs of a slowdown, unambiguous slowdown. Recent data from the U.S. labor market have painted a clear picture of an economic slowdown. The latest monthly jobs report reveals that payroll growth has decelerated significantly reaching its lowest point since January 2021. This decline in payroll growth is a key indicator of economic health, and its downturn suggests broader economic challenges. The unemployment rate has climbed to 4.1 percent, the highest it has been since November 2021, indicating that more Americans are struggling to find work. Additionally, wage growth has slowed to 3.9 percent, the lowest rate since May 2021, reflecting a cooling in labor demand. For Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell and his colleagues, these figures are significant. Just days before the release of this report, Powell described the U.S. job market as strong at a conference hosted by the European Central Bank. However, he also hinted that the job market might be approaching a crucial turning point. The combination of recent labor market trends and a slowdown in inflation has led investors to believe that the Federal Reserve will likely opt for interest rate cuts in September and December. Testimony Week Powell is set to head to Capitol Hill for his semi-annual testimony before Congress. During this testimony, Democratic lawmakers are expected to question him on why monetary policy has not yet been eased. The way Powell characterizes the jobs report will be instrumental in shaping expectations for a potential September rate cut. With only one more policy meeting scheduled before the end of July, this upcoming meeting will be the Federal Reserve's last chance to signal any advance moves. The global economic landscape is also experiencing significant developments. Rachel Reeves, the UK Labour government's new Chancellor of the Exchequer, is set to outline plans to spur private investment. Meanwhile, climate change continues to pose severe risks, with extreme weather affecting Chinese crop harvests and increasing power demand. New Zealand's central bank is expected to reiterate the need to maintain high interest rates for a sustained period, and former ECB President Jean-Claude Trichet has voiced concerns over potential big spending in France. The week ahead. Aside from Powell's testimony, the upcoming release of June Consumer Price Index, CPI data will be a key highlight for investors. The core CPI, which excludes volatile food and energy costs, is expected to rise by 0.2% for the second consecutive month. This would represent the smallest back-to-back -back gains since August, a trend that is more favorable for Federal Reserve officials. Global Central Bank Rate Decisions The upcoming week will also feature important rate decisions from central banks in South Korea, New Zealand, and Peru. Additionally, inflation data from countries like China, Sweden, and Brazil will be closely watched. The global economy is at a critical juncture, with central banks around the world making pivotal decisions that could shape economic outcomes for the coming months. Need to know research According to a recent UNCTAD report, prices for globally traded goods remained steady in the first quarter, but are expected to increase in the second quarter. This uptick comes as trade values grow faster than volumes. However, despite this increase, the annual change in the price for traded goods is expected to remain negative. Conclusion The current economic indicators from the U.S. and around the world suggest that we are at a critical juncture. 
With labor market data showing signs of a slowdown, central banks are under pressure to adjust their policies accordingly. As Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell prepares for his testimony before Congress, his characterization of the economic situation will be crucial in shaping future monetary policy decisions. The upcoming weeks will be pivotal as central banks worldwide make key rate decisions and new inflation data emerges. How will these economic developments impact our daily lives and the broader global economy? Share your thoughts on the current economic landscape and what you believe are the best steps forward.